It is wine season. We are going to be making our wine this fall. So we just got our order in California juice. We have Cabernet Sauvignon. We have a little bit of Merlot and we also have some white. We have a Chardonnay for white. Okay. We are going to do a blend of Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon. I have Matthew and Butch here assisting and we are going to make the best wine in the country. Absolutely. So the first step when the wine comes, you got to remove this red tab that wraps right around the whole pail, 20 liter pail. There's also a pressure, hear that? A little pressure valve, remove those. Now for the difficult part, Matthew's going to remove the lid. We've taken off the pressure valve and the strap. So now it's popping off the lid. Let's see how nice and full this pail is. That's what we want. This is a 20 liter pail. It comes full, so it's a little bit difficult if we leave it full. So we're gonna use a plastic jug to just remove a few liters. So when we go to lift it, it makes it easier. Here we're doing a two-handed lift and we're gonna come into our nice barrel. This barrel will hold 11 20 liter pails, but we're gonna put nine so we leave room for the fermentation. Nothing goes to waste here. Once you empty the 20 liters into the blue container, we need to drain. We just put one pail upside down, leaning into the other one, and get all this. This is the important stuff. Right at the bottom is what is called the mama. That's that thick stuff that really helps give the wine body. So now that the mama's finished, we're gonna swirl it to get it so it does not stick to the bottom before we put it in the barrel. So as you can see, the wine is starting to work already. Fermentation process is already started. Now we're gonna just put this lid upside down Hold on, let's take a look, let's take a listen. Okay, let's put the lid on. Our barrels are full with California juice. We've also used some of the pails and even them out, about half and half. We've done that for the two whites you see back there. And likewise with our Merlot, because we're gonna do a Demi, it's going to be a Cab Merlot blend. Two weeks to 16 days, we're going to let this ferment. We're just about done here, but we're not done until we taste the juice. We want to make sure this is a nice sweet juice. We're told that we've got about a 22-23 brick count, which should give us a nice natural alcohol level. Salute! 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 Amazing. The best.